Let's move on to the Philippines. It has been five days since that super typhoon ripped through the country. Hundreds of thousands of people are without shelter, food, clean water, or medical supplies. Now, aid is arriving in the capital in some outlying areas. But the damage to the roads and the shorelines is so severe, it's hard to reach the survivors, even though the cleanup has begun. As of today, 1,774 people are confirmed dead, most of them in the cities of Cebu and Tacloban on the hard-hit southern islands. The Philippine president says the estimated death toll of 10,000 people may actually be too high. He is suggesting today it's likely one quarter of that. But the stench of decay is making survivors ill, no matter what the number, and it's adding urgency to the cleanup and relief efforts. The CBC's Andrew Lee has more from Cebu Island. The smell is becoming unbearable in Tacloban. Bodies buried under the rubble haunt the survivors. The rescuers have not come back yet, even after three days. Why have they not recovered the bodies here? This plywood sign says, please remove the dead. People are getting sick here. In a devastated hospital, a woman holds her child. The child is no longer alive. People are being stretched to the breaking point. It feels like I'm going crazy thinking on how we can solve our problems. We want to go back home, but we can't. At this location, forensic workers began their grim work. A parking lot is being filled with orderly lines of corpses. As families identify loved ones, the number of missing goes down and the official death toll goes up. We know that the task could be overwhelming because of the sheer number, and we are running out of time. There is progress, but it is coming slowly, and everyone knows time is of the essence. Support from around the world is beginning to arrive in Cebu City. It's being used as a staging ground to direct relief to the hardest hit areas. In Tacloban, U.S. Marines are already on the ground, and a U.S. naval carrier group is heading towards the region, as well as a British warship. Canada's DART team is also on its way. Crowds are waiting, desperate for a flight out. We waited in line because there were a lot of dead bodies where we were staying, and my children are starting to get sick because of the smell. There is determination. We're still surviving even though it's pretty hard in here. The questions that are heard over and over again are how soon we'll help get there and just how long can the sick and ailing hang on. Andrew Lee, CBC News, Cebu City.